SDGs, Sri Shom Mogohu, SDG officer, and Sri. Regards and gratitude to them also. And this today, work. A very warm eh? greeting to, to all of you, to my uh, director and his team. Really, they made uh, this uh, occasion reality through magic. It takes hard work, sweat. I heartily welcome you, sir. Really endorsed by a man of vision. My greetings, welcome to Mr. John. He is very close to her. Thank you so much for giving me. Respectfully, welcome to this. Workshop is going to be yeah. no, waiting for quite some time that what we have been doing till now and how do we progressively <coughs> towards these sustainable development goals. As you already know, it, in uh, 1972, in the Human and Environment Conference, we had been talking about uh, sustainable development. And ultimately in 87, it was defined that in the Brooklyn report, the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And uh, in fact, these had been the words, but otherwise, in India, we had been following mostly all the principles of the sustainable development. It used to be earlier three hours. Reuse, recycle, and these things, they were converted into five hours, where refuse also was added, and then to seven hours. So all this process had been, you know, with the time, it had been continuing. And uh, I remember actually when uh, I was uh, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Panchayati Raj, in uh, 1915, uh, 2015. 2018 and in fact then these goals uh, the sustainable development goals actually we moved from millennium development goals to sustainable development goals some more uh, parameters were added and ultimately it was felt that we have to I am talking of uh, the Panchayati Raj at that moment that we have to basically strengthen our uh, 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 villages and that is how a concept started in 2016 when these goals had come in Gramodaya se Bharat and in fact this whole program we were very closely associated and it was felt that first if you want to do something about this then we should visit villages and see what exactly is the situation there. And that is how, until, unless you are not able to take along the villages with you, the country would not progress and would not be able to achieve actually what we want to in times to come. And it was in 2016. And then next year, again, the government felt that we have to now transform India and that is why we should take sankal and achieve sankal se siddhi that is how again actually it was uh, you know envisaged in ministry of panchayati raj and that is how from there actually we have progressed we have uh, taken steps transforming india into a better india and uh, these goals these parameters whichever have been set Actually, the data has, has to be collected properly and efficiently and regularly so that we know where we are. This is my privilege to address you. Let me extend a warm welcome to all of you uh, in this uh, consultation program. As most of you already know, SDGs were adopted by all United Nations member countries, including India, in 2015 as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, 
and uh, ensure peace and prosperity to all by 2030. And 17 global goals and 169 targets are fixed for better and more sustainable future. And followed by that, national indicators and national targets were also set. Now the different uh, state governments, they are now working on five pillars of SDGs, which are the basic premises based on which the different state governments are building institutions like uh, communication and capacity building, integrated planning and implementation, SDG localization, resource mobilization and partnership, monitoring and evaluation. I think we in the government of Tripura also need to have similar institutions for SDG to improve further from our current position. As to the subject matter that will be discussed uh, in this workshop, uh, first, this SDG India indexes. According to the SDG India indexes, now 3.0, Tripura has become a front runner state. In previous two occasions, in two indexes, 1.0 and 2.0, this state was categorized as only a performer. But uh, I feel that there is no place of complacency, as there are areas of concern and scope for further improvement, especially in SDG 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 13. Uh, where the score we had is actually less than the national average. And I feel that especially the SDG 3 and 4, which concerns health sector and quality education, we need to improve further. As regards district SDG index of northeastern region, uh, our partners are fairly well. Six districts of Tripura have been ranked within first 10 districts, and all eight districts are within the first 15. But as you know, the data collected uh, in 1.0 uh, SDG district SDG India index were not uh, uh, you can complete in all respect you can say. So there is always a scope of further improvement. Though overall position was better for us, but if you go SDG wise, I think again there are lot of areas where there is concern and scope for further improvement. I think we need to provide data more accurate and in a timely manner for the next version of the NER SDG index 2.0 which I am sure we will do. And I think we should make use of these workshops to have a better idea and clarity on future course of action. I just like to remind that all the concerned state government departments are required to make necessary focused intervention so as to improve our position further. As far as multi-poverty index is concerned, it will help us to identify the reform areas for taking localized policy action. Process has already started by ML donor and our state government and uh, with the institution of process, we are going ahead with the selection of villages, blocks, where that is, uh, I mean, in ranking, they are lying at the bottom and according to the direction and guidance of our chief secretary and also uh, help of MO donor, uh, the process has already started and we are going ahead of, uh, you know, improving these bottommost uh, blocks and villages. I wish and hope that with the full, partic uh, full participation and cooperation for all of you, this event will become a successful one.